Hi friends, I am Parwiz and this is our second video in Python GUI development with PySight. So in this video we're going to learn that how we can create a queue label. So using queue label we can create text and also using queue label we can create images. Now queue label is related to Qt widgets module and there are different uh, methods in queue label uh, that you can use. For example, uh, using set text we can set uh, a text to a label and using set pex map we can set an image to a label so now let's create our example the first thing is that i have already created a new python file and what i want to do is to copy my this window code so this is from the previous video uh, from my first video and this is just basically a simple window uh, we don't need the style sheet and the opacity and uh, let me change this uh, the width and height the uh, height a little bit and now if I run this uh, also I need a queue widget uh, because I'm not using any main or main items so we can just use it uh, queue uh, widget in here like this so now uh, if I run this so now you can see that we have a simple GUI window with nice icon and also title we can change the title to for example uh, uh, Python or we can just say pi site uh, Q label Now the first thing is that we need to import Q label from Qt widgets module Q label is related to Qt widgets module as I've already said that there are about I think 138 classes that are related to Qt widgets and we can use Q label from that Now let's create our label. Uh, we can create the object of Q label and we can just say Q label now there are two ways that you can set text to a label the first way is that you can do that and uh, and here so we can for example we can just say uh, hello world and also we need to give the parent and itself now this is the first way uh, if I run this you will see that I have a hello world in here now the second way is that you can use set text method uh, in, in here now I can just say for example label dot set text and I can just say uh, for example subscribe my channel and now if I run this now you can see that we have subscribe my channel in here now also you can uh, for right now if you see uh, we have our label but our label is in here now right now we haven't learned about the layout management and pie site but we can move this label there is a function or method that we can use uh, that's called move and in the move you can give the uh, x and y position of the widget so for example in here I can just say a uh, label dot move and after that you need to give the x position and also the y position uh, by 100 by 100 so now if I uh, run this you can see that we have our label in here uh, also you can set uh, the font of the label so we can just say label uh, dot set font and the set font expects a uh, queue font that we can import that from the Qt GUI module so we can just say queue font and then here we can say queue font so first we need to give the font type uh, for example I want to use times new Roman and uh, also you can give the size of the font uh, I want for uh, for example 18 and if I run this uh, you will see that I have my uh, text in here or label uh, also you can change the color uh, of the label uh, for that we can just use label dot set style sheet and we can give color for example red color and if I run this you'll see that I have a red color uh, label in here now this was setting of the label as I've already said that also there is a method of set pecs map that you can set images to a label now let's do that uh, so first uh, uh, I'm going to just uh, uh, comment this because I want to create a new label in here and like this and now we can create our label in here and I can just say label Q label and I'm going to just make make it an empty string because I don't want to add any string in here and I can just say self or even we can just say self like this okay uh, after that we need to create the pex map object now we need to import pex map and that's related to Qt GUI so we can just say Q pex map 
And after importing the QPEX map, and here we can create the object of QPEX map. And now you need to give uh, the name of the image that you want. So I already have uh, an image in here, so in the icons folder, qt.png. Uh, but I'm going to use that, so qt.png. Now after that, we can set this image or this PEX map to the label. We can say label.setPEXMAP, and we want to set our PEX map in here. So I think I have misspelling in the PEX map, and we can just use it like this, and PEX map. So now if I run this, you can see that now I have the image in my label. So thank you guys. If you have any question, please let me know. And for the further videos, please subscribe to my channel, like the video, and also share the video.